It was at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution that Karl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler, working independently from each other, became obsessed with the idea of developing automobiles and engines for all sorts of vehicles. Benz wanted to build an entire automobile rather than just an engine, and with the financial support of his wife Bertha, he eventually achieved his ambition. In 1886, Benz patented the first automobile, a three-wheeled, four-stroke, gasoline-fueled car. At the same time, Daimler and his technical partner Maybach worked feverishly from an experimental workshop in Daimler's greenhouse to develop performance engines to propel vehicles on land, on water, and in the air. In the same year as Benz patented his car, Daimler ordered a carriage from Hamburg and installed a one and a half horsepower engine. Together, Daimler and Maybach had created the world's first four-wheeled engine-powered carriage. However, the public were very wary and suspicious in those early days and regarded the new automobile as potentially dangerous. But in 1888, Bertha Benz took Karl's car and together with her two sons, drove a groundbreaking 62 miles to her mother's house on the first ever long distance car journey. The story was well publicized and demand for Benz cars took off. By 1900, Benz and Co. had expanded to become the world's largest car manufacturer, employing 430 people. At the same time, Daimler and Maybach were continuously improving their high-performance engines and they started to develop a reputation for quality and innovation. As the public's love affair with the car began to grow, the demand for Daimler and Maybach engines took off all over Europe. Their work caught the attention of Emil Jelinek, a wealthy, sports-mad Austrian businessman. His passion for racing and constant demand for upgraded cars pushed production to new heights. Faster engines and lighter, stronger cars were produced. Jelinek put a great deal of his own money into Daimler and Maybach's business, racing all over Europe under the pseudonym Monsieur Mercedes. Mercedes, which is Spanish, was the name of Jelinek's daughter, and translated into English, Mercedes means grace. As his success grew, Jelinek signed a deal with the Daimler Motor Company to put the name Mercedes on his racing cars, and the name became synonymous with quality, performance, and success. By 1902, Daimler formally adopted the trade name Mercedes. In 1909, Gottlieb Daimler's sons found a postcard Daimler had sent to the family many years earlier. It was a picture of Cologne, and Daimler had drawn a star on the postcard above the factory where he worked. The star was adopted as a symbol for the company and the three points are said to represent Daimler's ambition to motorize transport on land, sea, and air. The star has changed over time, even recently, but the most significant change came after World War I. With both companies struggling to survive the post-war depression, their bankers, the Bundesbank in Germany, encouraged the two men to join forces as a short-term solution to ease their financial pressures. So in 1924, Daimler and Benz began working together for the first time. The collaboration was a great success and sealed the fate for both companies. After two years, everyone agreed that it would be madness to separate. And in June 1926, the merger was completed. Daimler-Benz AG was formed and the Mercedes-Benz brand name was born. Daimler Star and Benz Laurel Wreath were placed together for the first time and remain together on our cars today.